room and then making dumb jokes that don't make any sense. So this actually does make a little bit of sense. You know, Boo's ultra against cardio. So yes, I went to cycle bar yesterday for a cycling and then yoga class afterwards after doing my lifts. So yes, sir, I did. Car I'm sorry, I did the uh, C word. The C word. Let's call it C word. <laughs> and leave it at that. You know what, since some jokes, hey, since I just like dumped on them, let's go ahead and give Boo Strong a shout out real quick. Be sure to check out this guy's page. He is definitely a strong guy. He's not called Boo Strong for nothing. Okay, why is my chat acting slow? There we go. Check one man, Voo Strong. <laughs> not Voo Weak, but Voo Strong. Alright, time's pitch start, the class starts, so I'll go ahead and cut the jokes, and we can go ahead and get this class started right now. So I'll go ahead and share the playlist one more time. And we can get started now. So whenever you're ready, start class by getting on your back. And grab a strap, have a strap ready, and also have your bands and a couple blocks ready. And basically, read the stretch at the top of the screen. Have blocks, straps, bands, and a folding chair ready. Doesn't have to necessarily be a yoga chair, just a folding chair, and you'll be good to go. Alright, let me stop flapping my gums and talking random stuff and actually start teaching a yoga class. As mentioned before, have your blocks ready and close to you, and your bands close by. You also want to make sure these are the handle bands, make this a little bit easier on yourself. And more for this, uh, more for this is okay. Whenever you're ready, start laying on your back. Put one hand in the heart, one in the belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose. And out their mouth. One thing we always remember about yoga, it is a physical practice, but the most important part is the breathing and the mental aspect. Keep that in mind as you continue to breathe. Breathe in through your nose, and out through the nose. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in one more time, and out. This time, Imagine the air going from your stomach, mid rib cage, chest, throat, and find the nose. Now it's the way as the air comes into your body. The nose, chest, stomach, lower abdomen, and then back out. And remember, anytime during this practice, if you ever lose focus or lose your breath, it's not, there's nothing wrong with taking a break or taking a child's pose. Get your mind settled back in because if you can't breathe, you're ruining the whole purpose of yoga. And as we continue to lay here and breathe, now would be a great time to come up. I'm sorry, now would be a great time to think about your intention for today's class. And pause for the day since this is somewhat relatively early in the day. Together, scoot your hips over to the left. Bring your arms out, cactus. See your knees over to the right. And if you have space already, you can see your gaze over the left shoulder. center and do the opposite do the same on the opposite side because of the way this room is set up I'm gonna have to bring the camera down and up a few times during the class so please forgive me for that so now scoot your hips over to the right 
arms out to the T or cactus shape. And now move your knees over to the right. Sorry, over to the left. And your gaze over to the right if you have the space. And most importantly, remember to breathe. center and now actually grab your actually at this point keep your strap where it is grab two blocks still warming up the body kind of coming to a supported line so make sure your focus is on the quadricep and not the knee so make sure your knee is not being damaged this is too much for your knee you can always bring a blanket underneath your knee like so. So if you have a blanket nearby or a towel, you can do that. Now we come up to a nice quarter step, stretch into this low lunge position. And if you want to go further into this lunge, you can bring your hands overhead and even hands behind the back to really get an emphasis into the quarter step and open up the hip. One thing you know it's about today's class, I'm starting off real slow to make sure you're able to feel everything before we get moving. Stay here for a couple more breaths. And this becomes too much, you can always bring your arms down. But if you can, you can try to do like I'm doing now with my hands behind the head. Shimmy your left foot forward. Put your hands to the blocks. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Or fold over straight left leg. And make sure you hit you from the hip and not from your back as you go down. You should really feel this in your left hamstring. Also relax your shoulders. Add some noise versus have told me in the past. And breathe into the posture. Yes, boo, I committed a sin. <laughs> How you doing this AM? Yes, I did some cardi sorry, did some of the C word before my yoga class yesterday, so I I'm asking you for forgiveness for committing that sin, sir. Which is why I'm doing extra cardio up stretches today so I don't snap my stuff up while squatting later today. into this pose. I understand this is a really good quad opener and hip opener. Hold it for about three more breaths. Okay, whenever you're ready, shimmy your right foot forward. Kind of come back a little bit on the left leg. Take a deep breath in. 
Work forward, hinge from the hips, over the right hamstring. Use your deadlift fitters in your right hamstring. Flexing the foot, gaze, eyes should be right towards your toes. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, and breathe. pose and relax in the child's of course gonna do another shout out to Vu real quick like I said earlier strong man Vu strong not Vu weak and since he's here yes I commit the ultimate sin yesterday We won't be doing any of that today. None of that. Because I will get chest eyes. Doing good, sir. Doing good. But at least I was um, cycling, which is another C word, and not the other, the worst C word, which was um, me out on my feet, you know? <laughs> All right. Alright, whenever you're ready, meet me in table pose. Make sure your wrists, elbows, shoulders are lined up, as well as your knees and your hips. Take a deep breath in. Let the belly fall. Exhale. And the cat. Inhale the cow. Exhale the cat. Just being the first cat cow of the day, you may even feel the inclination to go side to side. Posterior chain, or most of the upper part of your posterior chain from your lats, real deltoids, traps, and a little bit of your arms. Okay. Now me back in the table pose and grab a light tish band. By the first exercise of the day. So come back to table pose. Now we're going to walk the triceps. Make sure you get full extension. So grab the, grab the band at the side like this. You can bring your hands closer or further apart to increase the tension, depending on what works best for you. Bring your palm flat and extend the elbow. Yeah, I see a lot of people right now are trying to like really hype up sphinx push-ups and different weird push-up variations that put a lot of stress in the rotator cuff and the elbows. My thing is this. Yeah, you want to have good tricep strength when doing a lot of these asanas, but at the same time, not to cost your joints. So to me, it's a lot safer to do kickbacks with bands or dumbbells or even skull crushes or laying tricep extensions. It's another way to strengthen your triceps without putting the stress on your joints. Even though you can also try some push-ups what I'll do next. So we'll do about 10 repetitions on each side. Now meet me in the center. Now for try some push-ups, make sure your elbows are close in like this as you push forward. So base thing that you would do if you're doing a close grip bench. And be aware that you're not like all hyper extending your elbows while doing it. Because you do not want your elbows flaring out and snapping your stuff up. Okay, so 
One prime example of doing it would be down a hole in your core, on your knees, going down, and back up. And make sure you're feeling this in your tricep, which would be the, this part of your arm, and not your elbow. So you want to hit this, not this while doing the move. So basically, like you're doing a body weight tricep extension. So the movements should be very similar. Doing a tricep push down if you're in the gym and you're holding the handles and then pushing the weight down. Same idea. Remember to maintain your breath in and out through the nose. All right, going back to the left. Let's get this ready for three reps. Close your hands together. If you're to resist, so the first time it's too light, you can bring your hands closer and then start doing your kickbacks. Or grab a heavier band. Here's the deal, I understand there's a lot of cool asanas out there or different calisthenics movements, but if it's going to tear your joints up worse than using free weights, going heavy with bench, not worth it. Save your joints, save your joints, because when you get to be 40 years old like myself, you're going to regret it. Alright, back to straight table. So modified plank. Make sure you got the right this between your arms. That one's gonna be close to your ribs. Now we stand forward and back up. Almost like a reverse bicep curl going down. Bring yourself up for a tricep extension. A lot safer than trying to do a full sphinx pose. This should burn. So right now, we're doing a nut and a bar variation of Sphinx. Just saying. This is the charm free version. Oops. I mean, yeah, this is the all natty version. Now that I know some people that were taking it and doing YouTube video, but just saying. All right. Whew. Back to Childs. You know I got to throw some humor into this class. We got Boo coming in here making jokes about the C word, so now we have to make jokes about people taking <clears throat> certain vitamins. Out. Yeah, so main reason I have you guys do this today, I'm gonna make sure people are correctly extending their triceps and not put extra stress on their rotator cuffs or their elbows or their wrists. Exactly. And another point I'm going to bring up and boom, kind of because of the punch, you see a lot of people, when they do their shoulder presses, they turn into like shoulder twerks. I'm here to make sure you guys don't do that. Do not turn your OHPs into shoulder flops because you will be walking around with a sling on your arm like this and wonder why you can't lift or do anything else anymore. That's why, so make sure you pay attention to your form. All right, next set of band kickbacks. Make sure you're centered and go for a full extension of the tricep. And one thing you 
notice as you do this more and more, or as you get, you might move your hands further apart because it actually will start to get heavy, which is good because that means you're actually training the muscle. Had to get your 10th rep, switch sides. Set a tenth rep. Come back to a table. Extend your legs out a little bit. The modified plank. Make sure your elbows are close to your ribs. Now come down and bring yourself back up. Down and up. Also make sure your hands, your fingers, are spread out apart so you don't put any sense of stress on your wrists. in the child's pose. Whew. Now we should have a good burn at triceps as we continue to warm up. Now, about this stuff for your upper and lower back with the camera up a scotch. Sciatic nerve, and maybe a few marches here and there. Out to the side. So you can see here, I'm not only bringing meathead concepts, but also some functional fitness <laughs> concepts into here. Not to get me confused with CrossFit. That's what it kind of releases. Any tension you may have in your hip. Bring it down. All right, now get your band set with some medium weight. Brush your heavier weight. And put your handles clip right onto them. So I have this somewhat heavy band, clip the handles onto it, about to go into single arm rows. Put the block in between, set your foot on top of it. Actually, this you already don't need the handle, sorry. Just grab the edge of the bands like this, and then roll up. Actually, let's see if I want, yeah, roll up, we're gonna do a bent over roll. Do a few sets of these, warm it up. Nine and ten. Switch sides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The reason maybe you guys are doing these rolls is because in yoga I see a lot of people doing a lot of pressure movements, no pushing, 
end up around his shoulders like this, so it's kind of moving that pressure backwards. That's the point. So now loop it around once. You may need a lighter band for this, but I'm going to single arm roll. So right foot on block, handle on the right arm, and we start doing lawnmowers. Actually, it's still too long, so just grab it like this. Do some single arm rolls. the problem of doing band work barefooted by using a block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, split sides. We do this three times on each side. Let's go. He has some slow and for playing slow music. I want you guys to go slow and control with these movements. To really feel the contrast in your lats would be the muscles like right here my hand is. God, I want you guys to come in years there talking about you have torn rotator cuffs, rounded shoulders, or torn pecs. Really squeeze the lats as you're doing this. more than I want to, but you know, it is what it is. If you're on Spotify watching this, hit the back button a couple times. Tears, okay. Go back to child's pose, stretch that out, reset the back. one issue when you're actually a yoga teacher. Sometimes you'll talk longer than you think you're going to talk during the class. And your playlist is going to extend further. Okay. Back to the table. Now come down to your belly. Put your palms in front of you. Take a deep breath in. Keep your thighs planted from to the floor. For a space. Really stretch out the lower back. And take some of the stress off that we may have put on there with that last movement. So now your core should be engaged as well as a little bit of your rectus spinae. And you should also feel a little bit of a pump in your lats from what we just did to really help you kind of ease into this. Or really feel like your body's doing right now. And breathe. Okay, we're going to both arms down. Bring your 
your shoulders down below your ears. Hands can come to your back. Hold your hands together like so. Gaze comes up. Lift the chest. Head of space. Lift your legs. And breathe. Okay, now it's right song, right movement. joints. So next we're going to do overhead presses, aka shorter handstands for those of us over the age of 40. <laughs> that have never done gymnastics before, that aren't trying to snap our stuff up. So, get your block once again. Make sure you have your band set to have two handles on there. So we're gonna unhook this. Now you got the, you got the thing up too high. Bring it down low again. There we go, perfect. Okay, now. Unhook this, hook this in. It's got a trick where you're trying to put everything on the camera at once. So now it's down to your band. Kind of clean a little bit. Make sure you have, make sure the band's out here evenly. Kind of come down to a slight end of your knees. Bring it up and then overhead. Side, sorry, 10 on each side. Okay, switch legs. And right now I have an approximately 50 pound band. So you come down slow, then back up. And make sure you know how, just pay attention to how your body feels as you're engaging your lats, your pegs, especially your deltoids and your triceps. Pay attention to your elbow and wrist flexion as you're doing this as well. Now we can speed up the music. Woo. Yeah, it's a booger when you actually train the muscles for certain postures directly, isn't it? Instead of just doing it without thinking about it. Yeah, the reason I like having people do this so they don't tear their joints up years later in the yoga studio trying to try some crazy new poles where they haven't learned the stuff sorry the prerequisite poles beforehand and then they're complaining about their wrists elbows shoulders and everything else hurting this kind of makes you kind of take the ego to the corner and think about what you're doing before just doing it all right next set let's go And if you're old like me, you probably know where this music is coming from. Kawabunga. That's your clue right there. Even though I'm wearing a Dragon Ball Z Broly shirt, or sorry, Dragon Ball Super Broly. All right, switch legs. Do it again. Now 
could be ultra me to have you guys go to the wall and do a handstand, but I'm not doing that until possibly the end. But now it's going to give you an idea of how your bones are going to stack from here all the way to, from your shoulders to your elbow to your wrist. Kind of gives your body that feedback of like, okay, how should I be lined up and how am I most supposed to react when I'm doing this? And that's the point. And also remember, breathe in and out your nose. Or actually, when we're doing these movements, you can actually breathe out of your mouth, but breathe in through your nose. Because now this is, about, this is burning me just as much as doing it with iron. So I know people that have done this before, you're really feeling this. Okay, that's the last one. And rest. Check out your arms. Now, put this monstrosity to the side. Grab a light band, feet back into the block. Now I'm making a freaking, now I'm making a dent on here. Start to right, sorry, left leg on the block. So it's pro tip, you may want to use a cork block. Now we're going right to rear delt flies, rear delt flies, bring your palms close together like this, bring your hands out, pinkies outward. And then out, and it's supposed to really feel the rear part of your shoulder, aka your rear delt, as you're doing this. Real good way to open that up. So we're going to do 10 reps on each side. Let's go. One, two. And I'll have you guys switch legs in here because when you've been on a platform, it's going to be some imbalances going on, so this will keep that from happening. And rest. Then two more times on each side. And I did not know this class was going to run this long. <laughs> That's why I told people earlier on it's maybe an hour and 15 minute class because it's the same time I add bands to a class. 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes because add on instantly. All right, next time. Next set, let's go. And we haven't even got to the vinyasa section of this yet. 40 minutes in. Sides, outside, let's go. Whee! Everybody should really be feeling this right now. And I think the first bounce spot we're going to do on the day will be. I think I'll do the bounce balls for doing a strength leg pops because, yeah, you guys are going to be too exhausted. And my final advice, get a cork block your best bet for use with these bands. So a quick lesson learned at the almost destroy my other band block. So, yeah, get a cork block when doing this.
Aquarius, so I'm actually getting a decent shoulder pump from training for doing um, yoga today. All right, next set, let's go. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The fun doesn't stop here. Because after all this shoulder and arm work, guess what we're going into? Legs. With that being said, grab your bands again. You may want to lower or keep it where it is. Put it right in the center of your bands. Now, about to do tree pose. Or you can do a marinette, whichever works best for you, while doing some curls. Actually, we're going to alternate. So, bicep curl, standing by curl in the gym, but now you're doing it while trying to balance. And yeah, marinette may be a better option because we're gonna do after this. Yeah, I may go full sun gym, but not on the block. I ain't trying to kill you guys too hard. All right, marinette pulls on this side. See people doing too much of this and not enough of this. So now your elbows get worn up from going this side too many times. It's like a car hinge door. If you keep open, 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 never close it, it's going to snap. Something to keep in mind. And that's still not flesh and bone. All right, next time, kind of do a tree pose. Up here, to your calf, to your shin, but not the knee. Relax and breathe into it. so it's less fear in people. Because we're probably not about to pull a sun gem any second. We're moving on the legs and we're bouncing. Have my legs standing like that. Can't get you an idea where I'm going next. Or in a little bit. Chair, 
hands over head, or the heart center, your arms are tired. Up. Now. Switch your hands, walk, step, float, a jump forward, move the camera up. The one disadvantage of about doing a yoga class in a room with limited space, having to constantly adjust the camera angles.
Cam wants to have a mind of his own today. There we go. For some reason it wasn't moving upwards. Hands over head, grab your left, wrist your right hand, bend over to the right. Back to center, switch hands, off the side. Back to center, heads from the hips, gaze forward, forward fold, half way up, forward fold, deep in the forward fold, come to a plank, have a push up, shoulder working down, up dog, or cobra, back in the dark facing dog. Same down dog with a few more breaths. We we'll move on to one more sun A. Gaze goes in front of you. Walk, step, flow to jump ahead. Halfway up. Deep in the forward fold. Hands overhead. Hands to heart center. Forward fold again. Gaze goes in front. Try to bring it down. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Child's pose. Okay, whenever you're ready, meet me back in our face and dog. Stick your right leg up. Right knee to left elbow, back up, knee to nose, back up, right knee to right elbow, back up, send it through your hands, come to Crescent Warrior. Hands over head, hands to heart center, moving forward to Warrior 3, and Warrior Warrior 3, have some fun and turn these into deadlifts. Give me about 10 of them. And one thing I learned about deadlifts, they're less painful if you start barking or making the noises of your favorite animal. So, burf! Burf! Meow! Meow! Burf! This is less painful on the legs, alright? <laughs> After that last set, Bring your hands down, possibly grab a block into, sorry, into a forward fold on one leg. Bring both legs down to a lunge, to a plank, shut up, bring it down, up dog for cobra, downward facing dog. Left leg goes up, left knee to right ankle, sorry, elbow. Back up, knee to nose, back up, knee to left elbow, back up, send it through. Dear Crescent Warrior, hands to heart center, warrior three, warrior three, down to your deadlifts. Tap the rep, go to stand and splits. Save for a few breaths. Back to a lunge. From that lunge to a plank. Shoulder working down. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Gonna build on a couple more times. So right leg goes up. Left elbow, up, center, up, right elbow, up, come in to that crescent lunge. Now here's the kicker. Lunge up and down. Do 
10 reps. To your lunge, top of push up, shoulder working down, up dog, our cobra, downward facing dog. Staying down off a few breaths and relax. Okay, left leg goes up, left knee, right elbow, up, three in the center, up, left knee to left elbow, back up. Send that left foot into your hands. Come back up to Crescent Warrior. Ten lunges. Center. Sorry about your lunge. <laughs> Get tired. The plank. Shoulder working down. Up dog your core. Right this time. The child's pose. Okay, whenever you're ready. Meet me on your back. to a lower setting. Okay, so now you can see all the bands and everything else I got on the floor. <laughs> Grab the court block for a weight if you have one handy, or you can just do it with your own body weight. Come up to a boat. Actually, come to seat it. Hands go to your shins like so. To your back straight. Next thing, your legs out forward. Holding this. Now, going back to side. So, arms go to the left, knees to the right. Reverse. And the lower you go, the more difficult it is. I get some core work in there for you guys. Got another person for like, well, you didn't do enough flow and enough core. Here you go. All right, rest it up. But uh, keep your block. Extend your legs out in front of you, arms behind you. We're holding on to the block, and now try to touch your hands 
and feet to the sorry, try to touch, to get your feet as close to the block as possible. And don't let the block hit the floor. Now we're gonna like straight up abdominals. We're just gonna do bicycle crunches, so knee to elbow crunches. And then we're gonna stretch and call it a day. Give me about 30 of these. So 15 on each side. Shall I grab it one more thing, which be both? So bring your legs side to side. Whew. Partially the final box moves is playing, it's the final movement. So elbows tight to your tight to your side, close in, feet close together, spit us in your glutes and your hammies, but not your low back. Take a deep breath in, exhale, come up for a bridge, and back down. Give me 10 of these. Okay, extend your left leg forward. Place the weight to your right heel. Or you can do these with both legs continuously. Now we're doing some bridges on the right foot. 10 reps. And yes, it's the final boss move from Duke Nukem. Switch sides. Extend to the right foot in front of you. Weight goes to the left foot. And we get this in. side to side, we're going to do one final bridge pose and hold it, and then we're going to cool down, come your bridge and hold it. Some kind on my fingers, don't judge me. Okay, I'm trying to do the movement and talk and think at the same time. Okay, whenever you're ready, bring it down. Grab your block, possibly a softer block. If you have one, place it right underneath your sacrum, pretty much right there. And whenever you're ready, extend your legs up forward for a candlestick pose. Arms plant firm to the mat. And that's where I'll leave the lower back.
just remove the block. Move the legs from side to side. Now shift your hips over to the left. Knees go to the right. Gaze goes over the left shoulder as we did in the class. And breathe. the wall, legs up the wall, or laying flat on your back, whatever feels best for you today for final relaxation pose, grab your arms overhead, let your legs go up in front of you for a nice stretch, take a deep breath in, exhale, open the arms out to the side of you, the legs go out wide, just checking to make sure there's nothing in chat before going forward, and take a deep breath into the nose, and out to the mouth. Deep breath in. One more time. Deep breath in. Well, lock me. Lion's breath out. Nothing left to do. Nowhere else to go. For our final relaxation pose, Savasana. Move back to your body, do the fingers to toes, shake your head left and right. If you like a long sabashana, you're free to do so. Just know that we're a little over today's class and people have a place to go and things to do. So, if you're ready, bring your arms over your head, stretch your legs out deep, do a deep stretch. And from here, whenever you're ready, feel the position on your favorite side. Strengthen your arms, come back up to see the meditation. 
It's been a great honor and pleasure to pride each and every one of you throughout this world. Have a great day. Namaste. Thanks everybody that showed up. Any questions right now? No, it's really quiet in here, which is good. Which is good thing that this was Zavasana at the end of the class. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and give good old Musa Buddha raid. 